Hey guys, welcome to 5 Minute Effects. Uh, this video is all about generating little rigid body secondaries. Uh, I'm going to take the emissions we generated previously and I'm going to instance some geometry on it, add it into a sim and set up some collisions and things like that so you can see how all that works. Alright, let's get going. Okay, so now we've done the PopNet uh, particle dust or debris dust technique. So let's come over here and start doing some emission into a rigid body sim. So what we're going to need is two things. We're going to need the collision from the initial rigid body and we're also going to need the points to instance rigid body geometry onto to add it into the sim at every frame or every time it's present. So we can do this in a couple of ways. Let's just start setting up and then we'll start to see which are the better ways. So I'm just going to copy this over and this is trim by age and this is also trim by age and I'm going to say I only want these things to live for one frame we can just go and hide this and then you can see these emissions are going to live, live for one frame and I want them to live for one frame because I want them only to spawn a rigid body object into the sim at one frame and then be gone because if I have it on two frames then it's going to spawn two rigid bodies three frames three rigid bodies and so on let's create some geometry or some uh, bits of debris to instance. So let's create a sphere here. Let's do a mountain for a bit of interest. Okay. And then just give it a bit of height. Then let's do a copy the points and copy them to these points here. So now you can see obviously there's points running here and there's instance that with a scale of one to each point because our P scale has not been set so it's just going to copy everything at a scale of one to every point so let's just copy this over plug this in here and you can see everything's gone a little bit smaller ramp this up to say two by five maybe so now every frame these things are going to instance like this however uh, we need a bit of random orientation so we can do that in two ways we can randomize the normal which will come in here and then we'll use that normal to give us a random rotation or we can randomize the orient it doesn't really matter which one you use so we'll drop an attribute randomize and let's randomize in we'll make this n and then we'll make the distribution inside sphere and you can see these things start to get a random rotation what we can also do is come in here and in the seed we can do dollar f so that the seed will change every frame so that if one point emits it will definitely not be the same random rotation as it was the previous frame so let's take that and let's just do an assemble here because what we want to do is we want to assemble we want to pack this geometry first and then we want to instance it so let's pack the geometry instance it and you'll see it's a lot lighter that's 285 kilobytes whereas if we do this it's 9.22 megs so let's instance this you can also pack an uh, instance geometry here but this way i get to control the names and everything so uh, i'm just going to call this rock debris the important thing here is the name attribute because the name attribute is going to control how the rigid bodies are instanced inside the sim and how you export them and everything. So let's just create a group here and I'm going to call this group export um, so that anything else that we add into this group, well, we add into the sim will not be part of the export group and then we can blast only the export stuff out and then that's all good. So let's plug that in here. We got a clean dot network. Okay, so for the rigid body sim, we need a couple of things. We need packed rigid body object, and we need the rigid solver. Okay, and then we need gravity. Let's do gravity just for now, so that we can see things instance into the solver, and then um, just fall, so we know that they're actually working. So like I said, there's two ways to do this. One, you can just instance the geometry in like this at every frame and it will create a rigid packed object like this for every piece of geometry and the way to do that is you come over here to creation frame and you hit dollar f and you activate the first context geometry so you'll see here when I step through I'm doing this slowly because I know that it gets really heavy really quickly so you see there's your geometry instanced 
but it's now created a packed object for every frame. So maybe this is what you want, maybe it's not. Uh, personally, I think there are better ways to do it. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to the first frame. We are going to paste this code back in here. So this is essentially just saying that it's going to start on the first frame of the sim. Um, and then what we're going to do is we're going to use a pop source. So now the pop source is going to bring in the, the geometry every frame, but it's going to add it into this packed object container. So you'll see you'll only get one packed object. And this is a lot, a lot lighter and a lot more easy uh, to manage. So let's just plug in that pop source and we'll call this emit. IBDs, we will use our first context geometry. We will change this to SOP because otherwise we're going to get two emissions. And then we will change this emission type to all geometry. All geometry will actually just emit the rigid bodies into our sim and bring all the geometry in from our input and uh, instance it will emit it into the sim here. You see impulse activation is set to 1. So what you can do is you can write a little, a little expression to only activate it at certain points, but we've already done our emission points and everything from here, so we don't need to do that. So we just wanted to bring in whenever it finds geometry in the first input to bring it in. And that's fine. Life expectancy is one. All our attributes we need. Create ID attribute is quite important. Don't forget to change this to first context geometry. If we hit play, there we go, you can see it's coming in. More importantly, if I hit stop, if I go to geometry spreadsheet, you can see we've got one packed object with all of our points in here. Now, I mean, unfortunately, this is quite a lot of points, so we just have to manage how that happens. Okay, let's just see how many pieces of points we get on each one. Oh, 671. Let's just go back here and see how many points we get instanced. What's that? Uh, 32, 600, yeah, okay, this is a bit heavy. So what we want to do is we want to just limit this a little bit. 609 points. Yes, you can do the sim with this much, but then you have to start managing RAM and doing clustering and all that kinds of stuff. So let's just give this a limit. The age is one, but also if at PT num is greater than 30, delete it. So now it's only going to only going to add a maximum of 30. Well, a maximum of 30 points into this uh, situation here. So there we go, you see there's a max 31. So if it's bigger than 31, because PT num starts at zero, so uh, if it's bigger than that, then get rid of it. So we only got a maximum of 31 at any given time. Let's uh, rerun this sim here quickly and see how heavy that is. Will we save? There we go, much better. Okay, so like I said, you get your sim coming in and you've got everything under one packed object. And then uh, you'll see here under geometry, you should have, if I make this bigger, you should have your groups here. So see, everything's under export group, which is what we want. And now let's handle our collisions with our initial geometry. So let's do a ground plane because we know that that's the uh, type of ground that we used. Let's do a merge. And let's merge everything in here like that. And we say left inputs affect right inputs, which means these ones affect these ones, but these ones don't affect these ones. Let's drop our bounce down. Our friction of one is fine. And now let's bring in the other one. So let's call this rock debris, uh, RPG rock debris. Okay. And now uh, let's bring in a static object call this original sim. Now let's add here. Let's go grab the sim and let's put it in here. Probably clean this up a little bit, just like that. So now this is grabbing the RBDs from here, importing them into here in the second input or input one. So original sims. So now let's use up input path. Grab the first input, copy that. We want to use deforming geometry because this is going to update every frame. 
Now you can see here, here's my original sim. Let's switch our bounds to 0.01. Frictional one is fine. This is essentially a collision geometry node. So it's pretty much built to handle a whole bunch of different scenarios and you'll use this in things like, you can use it for volumes, for particles, for cloth sims, you can use it for pretty much anything. You just have to set it up correctly. And for us, what we wanna do is we wanna use our bullet data here because this solve a default of a volume collision is not gonna give us the detail without us recaching SDFs and all that kind of stuff. So what we wanna do is we wanna just use the collision geometry. And you'll see here when I start, if I show guide geometry, it makes everything one piece because it thinks that this is gonna be one solid thing. This will collide, but your, your results will be really strange. So let's do create Convex helper set of connected primitives to bring in all the individual primitives. Switch off the guide geometry, and now we just have to worry about what's set up in here and what's set up in the physical tab. And we kind of ignore this part. It says RBD solver, but the bullet solver is the one that you actually want to use. Uh, drop down another merge here, and I just want to do that. I like to do this so that I know everything on the left is a collider and everything on the right is actually a solve. And on this merge here, let's just do no change. And let's play. So now what we have is some small debris being emitted. However, obviously the debris is a little bit large, so we need to just adjust our P scale quickly. Let's show our geometry and let's change our P scale to maybe 0 0.1. Let's do 0.5 and 0 0.025. I mean, just make sure that things are a little bit smaller. We rerun our sim. We just have to copy RBD rock and uh, paste it in here. Now let's just cache this out, copy this, paste this here, and we call this small rock debris. Save that to disk. And now let's merge everything together so you can see what's going on. Out, small rock, three, see that, that, let's grab, we can just call this preview. There we go. Now you can see everything happening at the same time. Let's create a new camera. Let's do that. Run a little flip book. One thing I want to just change here is the color. So let's do color here, just so we can see things a little bit easier. Let's do primitive color, make them blue so you can see them. Let's up the amount that we have. So let's do 100, rerun our sim, chop that one off. And then in RBDs, we've got our high-res pieces that we summed in quick RBDs. Let's run the flipbook. Okay, so here we are with our flipbook. Let's play it, and you can see. So we've got our sim with high res, sim with low geometry, and uh, swapped out with high resolution pieces. We've got some particle dust coming off, and we've got some additional rigid bodies. So um, pieces being emitted for secondary debris for a complete look. So obviously, this is not the highest quality or the best sim I've ever done. <laughs> Um, but it's just to show the principles of uh, how everything works and everything how everything connects. Um, obviously, these principles will be able to be carried through to pretty much anything, and you can do building destruction, you can do character destruction, you can do whatever kind of destruction that you want to do using these principles and leverage your machines and your resources that you have a bit more efficiently and run things in a higher resolution than you could before. I hope you enjoyed this video. Like the video if you liked it, or subscribe to my channel for more content. And feel free to support me on Patreon with a link down in the comment section.